the internal and external force causing stresses and chemical action on Earth's materials and bringing about changes in the configuration of the Earth's surface. types of geomorphic process. It is the exogenic process and the endogenic process. Exogenic processes are worse than their surface with the exogenic process. Under the exogenic process is weathering, mass wasting or movements, erosion and transportation, and deposition. Weathering. Weathering to us physical breakdown and chemical alteration of rocks at near the Earth's surface. There are two types of weathering. It is the mechanical and chemical weathering. Mechanical weathering is the breaking up of large rocks into smaller fragments without changing the rocks and mineral composition. Example of this is frost wedging, insulation weathering, and unloading or pressure release. Frost wedging is when the water enters through the cracks and empty spaces of rocks when it freezes. Insulation weathering results from the expansion and contraction of rock caused by temperature change. And lastly, unloading or pressure release occurs when overlying rock is eroded away which causes the outer rock to expand more than the rock below and may separate from the rock body. Chemical weathering decomposes rocks through chemical change. The process involved includes the following. Oxidation, hydrolysis, carbonation, and biological action. Second is mass wasting or movement. Mass wasting or movement is the mass movement of rock, soil, and regolith. There are four types of movements in mass wasting. It is flow, slide, fall, and also slump. Flow is the descending mass moves downhill a viscous fluid. Slide is the descending mass remains intact and descends along well-defined surfaces. Fall is a material free falls or bounces down a cliff and slump is a form of mass weighting that occurs when a coherent when mass of closely consolidated materials or rock layers a short distance down a slope. Third is erosion and transportation. Erosion is the process of transporting weathered sediments by agents of erosion and transported in different places. There are four distinct ways for the materials to be transported. Solution, suspension, traction, and saltation. Solution is where materials are described in water and carried along by water. Suspension is where the suspended particles are carried by a medium. Traction is where particles move by rolling, sliding, and shuffling along eroded surface. And saltation is where particles move from the surface to the medium in quick. Fourth is deposition. It is the aggradiation or accumulation of weather and sediments to create different platforms. Now we will show you what suspension, traction, solution, and saltation does. Yes, the 
Thailand has that broke up into large pieces, which have since lifted apart. Do you know what the giant land has is called? It's the Pangea. The world was created by a single continent through most of geologic time. That continent eventually separated and moved to the part, forming into the set of continents we have today. This leads to plate tectonics. Plate tectonics explain how the Earth has evolved. layer, the lithosphere, is broken into seven large, rigid pieces called plates. Plates move at different speeds and different directions. Some small plates that lack land masses move as much as several cm per year. Large plates move only a few cm per year. This plate motion causes them to collide, pull apart, or scrape against each other. It also refers to the deformation of the crust as a sequence of plate interaction. Each type of interaction causes a characteristic set of earth structures or tectonic features. Why and what makes the plates move? It is because of the convection current. It is the movement of material caused by differences in temperature. Why do some plates experience more earthquakes compared with others? It is because volcanoes and earthquakes are closely linked to the margins of the tectonic plates. It also depends the nearness of a particular country to the Pacific Ring of Fire and to the active fault lines. What is diastrophism? It is the deformation of cars due to the tectonic stress. Folding and folding. Folding is the bending of rocks while folding is a breaking in this place. Deformation is the breaking, bending, and tilting of rocks, and it is also the change in shape and volume of rock. There are three types of stress, compression, tension, and shearing. Pressure. It is when crystal rocks move together, causing the volume to decrease and density to increase. It only happens for convergent plate boundaries. Shearing is a stress or force that pushes crystal rocks in opposite direction. This force causes the rocks to bend or twist apart. Tension. It causes the value to increase and the density to decrease. It only happens for divergent phase boundaries. What is fault? It is a fracture or break in the Earth's crust, where earthquakes are most likely to occur repeatedly. It also forms when the rocks of the crust are compressed or stretched by plate movement. There are three types of fault. It is the deep slip fault, strike slip fault, and the oblique slip fault. Normal deep slip is when the hanging wall moves down relative to the football. It is also called tensional fault. It is also called primary waves. S waves is a transverse earthquake wave that travels through the interior of the Earth and is usually the second conspicuous wave to reach a seismograph. It is also called secondary wave. And lastly, surface waves is a mechanical wave that pro propagates along interface between dif differing media, usually is a gravity wave between two fluids with different densities. 
Let us now proceed to focus, epicenter, intensity, magnitude, and seismograph. Focus is the location within the earth where fault rupture actually occurs, and the epicenter is the location of the surface above the focus. Intensity is how strong earthquake means to observer, or the probable experimental damage to the surroundings. Measured by the time scale 1 to 20. Magnitude, related to energy released by the earthquake. Seismograph measures ground motion at one instant, but it is a really good earthquake last minute. It releases energy over hundreds of kilometers. It needs to sum energy of entire river. Magnifies its first scale doesn't replace it, and it adds about one magnitude to eight plus weeks. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear ye. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh. Causes a rock to break down. Well, the ring breaks it down. With sediment pieces all over the ground. Sediment on the ground. Erosion carries the pieces away. Erosion carries it away. So deposition drops the place where they stay. Deposition drops, hey. Weathering erosion, erosion deposition. Changes make land forms of water. Erosion shapes many landforms we see. Erosion shapes what we see. Like canyon sea arches, you shape valleys. Canyons and valleys. Deposition can even make landforms too. Deposition makes them too. Like deltas to magnetites and even sand dunes. Deltas and sand dunes. Weathering erosion, erosion, erosion. 